hey girl hey welcome back to my channel it's your girl misha thank you guys for joining me yet again for another review tonight we are back with a brand new review of tyler perry sisters season three episode eight child let's get into it if we gonna get into it if you are new here then welcome if you're back for a second or third time then welcome back previously on tyler perry's sisters we see Andy trying to act like she's not flirting with Robin, okay, rocking Robin. And then we see Fatima tell her that love, love rhymes with rich. And then we see her at the door hearing sex noises coming from the restroom slash bathroom slash bedroom. Child, let's get into it. So the episode picks up with Fatima hearing sex noises coming from the bathroom, right? So she goes and takes a seat to call Andy. I'm like, girl, not you done took a full-on seat, honey. You need to be on the outside of the door so you can catch them as they coming out and then you can pull your phone out and record the whole thing. Child, you ain't doing it right. She's like, hey, Andy, um, you know, you need something else? Because she calls Andy, right? And she's like, yeah, I was just calling you. Can you get my necklace? She's like, oh, okay, I got it. She said, did you need to get, did you get the dress? She's like, yeah, I got it. It's hot. She's like, it's not too hot, is it? And girl, not that collar dress. Anyway, she was like, I don't want him to think I'm interested. Fatima. Why are you having a full on conversation, honey? Just tell the lady what you're hearing and how you, he don't hear you on the outside. That's what I was confused by. I'm like, I can almost feel somebody in my, my space. I don't even have to see them, but I can feel their presence. So I'm trying to figure out if the sex noises were a little bit too loud or what was happening that Gary did not hear Fatima out there having a full on conversation and walking back and forth and click clacking in these heels. Fatima goes, Andy. I think you need to come home and change. She's like, if I had time, I wouldn't have asked you to pick it up. Girl, it's not that you don't have time, honey. Time management is not the problem. It's the fact that you don't want Gary to see you in that little dress, okay? So she's like, yeah, but still, I just need you to come home. She's like, I'll push the girls back an hour. I really can't come home, Fatima. I just really can't. She's like, Andy, just come home. Andy's like, what happened? She's like, I'll explain when you get here. Is Gary there? Is he okay? Girl, just go. She's like, yes, he's here. He's fine. She's like, can you just tell me now? She's like, look, you're asking all these questions. You could have been here by now. Andy's like, I'm coming home. I don't like this shit. First of all, watch your tone, watch your language, who you cussing at. Okay, that's number one. Secondly, who has this long of a conversation while someone is potentially getting it in? Hey, this don't make no sense. This cannot be real life because this is how it would have gone if it was real life. Hello? Andy, girl, I ain't got time to talk, bitch. I think I hear Gary in there getting it in, honey. I hear sex noises and everything. Now, I can stay inside or I'm going to go outside. But I am going to beat her ass either way, okay? So what would you like for me to do? And I ain't got time to be answering no questions. I need you to get here right now. Girl, ain't nobody got time to be playing with Andy. That is the way it should have been. Instead of saying, do you want me to, I got the dress. Is everything okay? And what was I thinking? No, nobody has time for that. Girl, in a real life scenario, we done been kicked that dough in, okay? First of all, I wouldn't have even called you. I would have kicked the door and beat her down. Then I would have called you. Girl. <laughs> so Sabrina shows up to the happy hour spot in the next scene. And she's waiting for the rest of the girls to get there, right? So then Danny calls her and Sabrina tells her what Jacoby threatened to do to her, right? So Danny was like, oh, that's trifling. What you gonna do? She said, I don't know. I'll handle it. I'm about to order a drink. She's like, okay, well, order me one too. They get off the phone. So then all of a sudden, Calvin's looking like little brother with a little bit of an edge. He shows up, slides on over. He's like, hello. She looking down at the menu. She's like, I'll just have a margarita. He's like, well, can I buy you a drink? She's like, no, I just want a margarita. Who never looks up from the menu while they're ordering? I have never been to a restaurant and have not looked the server directly in their eyes. I'm like, girl, whatever. He's like, you sure? She's like, just bring me the drink. I'm not in the mood to talk. He's like, I'm not a waiter. Well, you would know if you would have lifted that head up that he's not a waiter, girl. She's like, I'm sorry. He said, um, it's okay, Sabrina. She's like, Sabrina, do I know you? He's like, I'm El Fuego. Cha, okay, I do not have time. <laughs> Gosh, Tyler Perry is like a mad scientist. Child, I cannot be bothered. So she's like, El Fuego? He's like, yeah, El Fuego McAllister. Child, not the fire McAllister. Okay, I'm not about to play with y'all. She's like, no, you're kidding. Honey, he's definitely not kidding. She's like, you've changed since college. He was like, yeah, you know, I was a fat kid with acne. And she's like, and you got your teeth fixed. Was that expensive? Got a bag and fix my teeth. Hope you know it ain't cheap. Shout out to Cardi B. And so he was like, yeah, you know, it was a little bit expensive. Girl, who asked that? 
Who just sits down and looks at a person and says, did you get your teeth fixed? Was that expensive? He's like, um, well, you look good, by the way, even though you shut me down when we were younger and you must be having a bad day, by the way, you reacted to me when I came over. So then she's like, well, do you want to have a drink? So she offers him a drink while they're sitting there, right? So then she said, well, whatever happened to Stacy? Because that's his girlfriend from, from college, right? He said, oh, yeah, you, you went way back. She's like, you know, she was the love of your life. He said, until she saw Jonathan. This is my thing. I wish the actors or the actresses would be directed to act more naturally during these scenes because this is just horrible. If I saw a classmate from back in the day and we were cool like that, I would be like, boy, whatever happened to so-and-so? You know, I'm gonna be excited. I'm gonna be talking, not... So whatever happened to Stacy? She was the love of your life. It's me, El Fuego. Child, I ain't got time to be playing. She's like, oh, my bad. I forgot about that. So then he asked about Andy and Karen. And she's like, oh, they're coming. He's like, and Danny. And she was like, yeah, Danny's coming too. He was like, oh, well, let me go because I owe her $5. Yeah, I took a long dramatic pause, honey. So you can afford to buy Sabrina a drink, but not give Danny her $5 back from college? And $5, really? 20 quarters? 50 dimes child Tyler Perry is having writer's block honey because he's saying any old thing so then he gives Sabrina his business card and he's like I'm about to leave anyway me and my friend you know we have something to do we're going to this bachelorette party she's like a bachelorette party you've never heard of one? Oh, uh, okay he said yeah you know we're the entertainment she said oh are you guys singers there are you serious <laughs> you cannot be serious to think this man is a singer child just call him adam sandler honey in the wedding singer child, i'm not about to play with you girl this man is clearly a stripper now what bachelorette party have you ever been to where they hire singers and i'm doing air quotes honey sabrina get real he's like no i'm a dancer you should come down to club eden she's like the strip club no the church moving forward Andy finally shows up while Fatima's just sitting there waiting, right? So Andy storms in and goes to the door to listen. Girl, if you don't kick that door in, open the door immediately. Don't stand there listening, honey. They'll be done by the time you get in. She's like, oh, hell no. Nah. This is what Fatima's saying over on the side, right? So Fatima in the back. And she's like, girl, go on in there. Oh, goofy girl, go in. So she busts in the door and he's sitting on the edge of the tub, right? Holding his phone. So she's like, hey. He's like, hey, girl, I know. Hey, honey, you need to say, what is this noise? And what is happening in here? And get up and move out of the way. Child, I would have been opening up the doors and looking all behind them. I would have been like, are you on Pornhub? What are you doing in here? What is going on? <laughs> Child, I would have so many questions. He's like, you're home early. I'll do the asking of the questions here. I'll be the one interrogating. Don't say nothing to me until I'm done trying to figure out who's all up and through. So he's like, I'm glad. Child, they're getting on my nerves. Gary is claiming to be on the phone with his therapist, Angela. Is she a sex therapist? Like, I'm not understanding why sex noises are coming from this room if you're just doing a therapy session. I'm just not understanding that. Why is your therapist moaning and groaning? That's what I really need to know. So the therapist is like, hi, Andy. We just got done talking about you, girl. Hush, honey. You clearly were not using your vocal cords, okay, to talk. Okay, we heard sounds moaning groaning and carrying out honey there were no actual words being said you were not just talking about me so she was like oh really honey well it didn't sound like no talking to me but continue so then he's like yeah she's having me do an exercise you know to work through what happened last night why does she have to have sex noises going to help you get through what you went through last night that's in your own head honey it's something psychological the sex is not the problem Unless your peen is upside down and can't get up, then child, I'm not understanding why you got to moan and groan on this phone with this woman, honey. This is just not making no sense to me. And Andy just believe any old thing he's saying. I would have been left Andy standing right there if I was for team, child. He's like, you okay? She's like, I'm going to get dressed and I'm going to go out with the girls. So then the therapist was like, have a good day, Andy. I look forward to our session as a group. Honey, no, thank you. <laughs> you not about to get me in no phone sex threesome, you little kinky lady. Honey, no, ma'am moving forward Fatima's like what happened she's like oh nothing you called me because you thought he was with a female no I called you because I thought he was with Maurice yes I thought he was with a woman child she's like uh talking sounded like sex to me Andy said it did sound like that didn't it Fatima's like well it wasn't 
She said, I know what a woman's voice sounds like. That was not on the phone. Well, honey, you know, the acoustics in the, in the restroom are great. So <laughs> if you heard it, it's probably so. Andy said, well, did you leave? She said, no. And I'm like, okay, so you're going to try to make this her fault? <laughs> Andy is really a piece of work, child. She's like, no, I stayed the whole time. She said, unless he flushed her down the toilet, it's just him and that phone in there. I'm like, okay, I'm about to get ready to cuss her out, honey. It couldn't be me. Fatima is too good to Andy, honey. I wouldn't tell her nothing else. She get an attitude like Fatima was cheating with old Rockhead Gary. Honey, this would get on my nerves. I just wouldn't be able to handle it. She's like, uh, you know, but thanks for having my back, girl. You were ready. She's like, listen, I just want you to listen to this. So they go over to the door and you can hear the therapist talking, talking about let it out. Well, honey, she's saying let it out right now, but she wasn't saying let it out earlier. She was actually asking him to put it in. Honey, uh -uh, I'm not buying it. But Tim is like, oh, my bad. So then Andy said, I'll be mad at you about it later. Mad at her. Andy, child, you got your nerves. So she's like, I got to meet the girls. Can you call them for me? Andy, what are you doing? You don't know how to operate a phone? I don't understand why you always need Fatima to call somebody and be the go in between. I mean, I guess that makes her feel important, honey. It's not making no sense if you ask me. And of course, Fatima said yes. In the next scene, Danny and her dress show up. Sabrina said, you look great, but why? First of all, you like to lie, but why? Because honey, that dress is definitely doing absolutely nothing, okay? She's like, why everybody treat me like I'm a troll? Well, Danny, I love your character, but sometimes you do give under the bridge realness. <laughs> I'm just saying, honey, you always in that uniform. Everybody notices it. And just when I told y'all that last review, Sabrina looks directly at Danny and says, well, you're always in your uniform. And is. She said, I just wanted to look pretty. Sabrina said, well, you definitely do look pretty, but you only dress up when you're having guy problems. You trying to catch something, honey, whatever trap she trying to set, that is definitely not it. Unless you're talking about a mouse trap. Because other than that, that is definitely not a thirst trap. And um, when she said, what you trying to do? Catch something? I was thinking to myself, yes, her sheep. She's lost them and don't know where to find them, honey. Dressed like little Bo Peep. Sabrina tells Danny she ran into Calvin's doppelganger with tattoos okay she's like oh you talking about el fuego is he still working down the club eating grinding on women for money he's a scripper she was like oh i didn't know but he looks good well sabrina we know you'll look at any old thing child moving forward so she said um danny said well not good enough for me to be throwing my money at him i know that's right honey exactly he was not giving if you ask me and male strippers are a big no for me i don't like no male strippers honey no ma'am no thank you so Karen and her Gola May top show up and looked at Danny immediately and thought that her and Cowboy were having some issues. And she's like, everything good with you and Cowboy? Honey, is everything good with you and Zach? I ain't think so. She was like, did y'all break up? Child, we all know Danny ain't never not gonna wear that uniform. So we understand where you're coming from, Karen. All of them are waiting for Andy to show up. Back at Andy's condo, she comes out in this pink suit dress with her little pin and her twist. And I was looking like, girl, what? Girl, he definitely not going to get the wrong idea in that sophisticated dress. No, ma'am. <laughs> like, what is happening? Now, she made Fatima do all that, and then she changed at home anyway, right? Her and Gary are sitting on the couch. So they started talking about his session, and she was like, how was your session? He said it was draining. Honey, it sounded like you were draining something. I ain't going to say what it was. So he said, why you come in there like that? She said, you know, the noises were kind of weird. He said, yeah, she was having me let my emotions out rather than keep them in. This makes no sense to me. Tyler really don't care how he treats us as viewers. He really, <laughs> he really don't care about us. He does not care about us. All I want to say is that they don't really care about us. Shout out to MJ. May he rest in peace. And also, Andy, you cannot be this dumb. You must have gotten that law license out of a crackerjack box. Girl, I'm not thinking lawyer when I see you. Child, I ain't gonna tell you what I'm thinking. She's like, well, what about sex? He said, you know, we're working through that. In what way, Gary, honey? What way? And why are you never at work? So Andy is like, well, I just want you to know I'm proud of you. So then he looks at her and says, wow, you look incredible. Honey, she's been sitting here for 30 minutes and you're just now noticing? Okay, child, set yourself off. He's like, where you going? She said, um, I told you I was going out with the girls. Granted, she lying. Okay, but she really doesn't look all that great in this lawyer JC Penny dress. And they got a collar. Child, oh no, ma'am. 
So he's like, you're wearing that? Honey, she's fine. Honey, I was thinking that before you said that, but honey, for a whole nother reason. She's like, I'm not changing, uh, but you should. He said, "Um, I didn't ask you to. She said, you trust me, right? He said, I do. As she literally sits there in his face and lies to him. <laughs> Girl, cut this awkward conversation and go ahead and get to this sneaky link. Okay, because you ain't fooling me. He's like, where y'all meeting? She said, oh, the steam plant. Now, why would you tell Gary that? And you know he gonna show up. So then he says, oh, okay, well, I'll just be here when you get back. So she gets up. She's like, okay, I'm leaving. And all I can hear is clunk, 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 clunk. I said, girl, it don't take you that long to get to that front door. <laughs> girl, that place is not that big. Your living room is literally two steps from the door. Because when Jasmine bust up on the scene with the gun with the fake rubber bullets and killed Gary, but he really wasn't dead, when the cops held you in the living room, you were sitting underneath the door in that chair, honey. So, eh. It really didn't take that long. I was like, where is she walking to? But y'all, that's neither here nor there. That's just a side note. So then she goes in to call Fatima, right? So she's like, hey, can you switch the spot with Robin? Fatima's like, um, can I ask you something as a friend? Honey, she's not your friend, but go ahead and ask her the question or whatever. She was like, are you sure? She's like, yes, Fatima, just do it. Honey, for Tima, get your Nike on because she don't want to hear nothing you got to say, okay? And she was like, I'm going to do it because you're my boss, but I'm just saying, honey, I wish I would. For Tima at home in a satin dress, once I'm off the clock, make your own calls, okay? If I'm not at the law firm of Sweetelson, McDonald, and Lee or whatever it's called, honey, I'm not making no calls. You are your own. You're on your own, honey. You're on your own. So Andy comes stomping in sitting five miles apart from Karen because they got a little animosity and uh, barely wanting to speak. She's like, hey, Karen's like, hey, and you know how Karen is already, child. So Sabrina was like, um, she immediately tells her about Jacoby. So Andy's like, oh my God, I'll make sure that I handle that. And if I can't handle it, then I'll make sure I get one of my colleagues or someone I know to handle it. Honey, you can't even handle your own missing, but okay. So then Danny is like, Karen, um, do you have anything to say to Andy? She's like, uh, I do have something to say. I'm sorry for the way I said what I said at the photo shoot, but not for what I said. Sabrina said, Karen, you were wrong for leaving. No, she was not. Who wants to watch their best friend throw their life away with a man like Gary? Let me tell you something. I need a friend like Karen to tell me straight up. This is not what you should do because my best friend let me marry my soon to be ex-husband knowing he was a trash can. Child, uh, honey, I need my friends to speak up and speak their speech, honey. Pipe all the way up. Now, I might not listen to you. Now, quiet as it's kept, I'm probably not going to listen to you. But at least I can say when the divorce clears and the ink is dry that you did try to warn me. But I guess that's just me, honey. What y'all think? Y'all tell me down below if y'all think that Karen did the right thing or not. I think she did, but that's just me. So Andy is like, we didn't do it. She's like, oh, I already know. Thank God. I know that's right. So Karen said, um, but you owe me an apology. They're looking like, uh, what did she do to you? So then she said, y'all, now, baby, this is a trip. Oh, y'all didn't get yours. So then she pulls out this paper. She's like, Gary's wife is suing you for alienation of affection. And all of us are named as accomplices. Child, now she's suing the sisters from inside the pen. Child, what? I am done. <laughs> I couldn't be friends with Andy, honey. She's too messy. She's the type to get everybody killed. And how oblivious could you be, honey? Something is not right. I told y'all, I think that um, Jasmine and Gary are in cahoots, honey. I think that they're still together. I love the word cahoots, by the way. Uh, but I think that they're still doing something together because something ain't adding up. How are you going to sue her for alienation of affection when the two of you are divorced? What affection? Are you talking about during the marriage? Child, honey, and they suing for everything else, child. So I guess so. So Karen said, but the best part is at the bottom. Scroll down. Honey, not scroll. <laughs> oh my God. Karen, you forgot your lines, honey. You are so used to technology, honey. Don't you realize you're holding an actual piece of paper? There's no way to scroll down. Oh, child. She said his wife is in jail for shooting Gary and holding you at gunpoint. Child, it was rubber bullets. Y'all don't worry, honey. She's fine. So Andy said, I was going to tell y'all lies. Okay, Andy don't do nothing but lie. I think lawyer was the best profession for her. She said, you know, Gary lost his key and his ex-wife found it. So of all the keys, 
she knew it was yours did the key have the apartment number on it as well so she got this key because you know all these keys be looking generic and looking exactly the same she got this key and said aha the key to andy's place apartment 3b floor number five i'm going there with this gun with these rubber bullets in it and i'm going to shoot her and gary girl hush so then she showed up and shot Gary. That's what Andy said. Then turned the gun on me and I simply defended myself. Danny said, simply? <laughs> I know that's right, Danny. Danny said, you know what? The crazy bar a part about this is that you're saying it like it's normal. Honey, she thinks that this is normal. This toxicity to her is normal. She said, I'm a lawyer. You know, I see these things often. It's no big deal. Karen said, oh, she didn't want us to know. She didn't want us to know we were right about crazy Gary and his bullshit, okay? And was. That's why I didn't understand you apologizing for not wanting to support this foolishness. You should not have apologized to her. You didn't owe her a thing. In the next scene, Robin shows up smiling. Meanwhile, if a team of spied Hayden silly behind shows up thinking all of a sudden she's cool with him. He's like, I'm surprised you called me, honey. You should be surprised. She's like, he was like, I thought you were mad. She said, oh, not at all. You want some wine? Honey, I wouldn't drink nothing. <laughs> Don't drink the poison. He getting comfortable, complimenting her spot. Honey, he's so naive. So then Zach busted up in. So I'm like, I got your text. Zach, come in a little bit more quiet. Child. And he mad that Hayden is sitting on the couch with his little peanut head self. So child, then he gets, so he's like, I'm a stand. So then Hayden was like, I'm a stand too. Well, honey, y'all stand 10 toes down. Do what you got to do. She's like, let me get this straight. You didn't get him kicked out of the program. You just made it hard for him. He's like, what you talking about? She's like, you lie to me. I put your head through that window. I said, oh, child, honey, I got scared. I'm like, did I get him kicked out the program? Hold on, let me make sure. Honey, she do not play. This is the thing about Fatima. This is what I love about her character. If she has your back, she has your back. Even old goof troop Andy. She's like, I don't belong to you and I never will, okay? She's like, are you jealous of him? I mean, God, I mean, look at him. I definitely would be if I were you. He said, no, I'm not jealous of him. Well, you should be. She said, and I have video evidence of what you did. She's like, don't mess with me. I'm crazy. And I told y'all once you turn the crazy on, then you can't turn it off. And she was like, and Zach, he was like, what I do? Honey, you did something. She was like, the fact that you think that I would have even done this. He was like, I didn't say that. She said, but you implied it. Sis, he really did. She was like, y'all leave me out of this. Now, both of y'all get your ass out of my house. Hayden said, you heard her. Zach said, oh, that was for you. Honey, y'all know Zach ain't going nowhere. He ain't got nowhere to go. <laughs> Zach ain't leaving, honey. So then they start insulting each other. And Zach told him he was ready for the disco. And then he told Zach, you look good in your short sleeve. And I'm like, not his short sleeve. Shirts do come in shorter sleeves. You do know that, right? But one thing I was thinking when I was looking at Zach, I said, you know what? For somebody that has worked all day, Zach's shirts are going to be pressed if they ain't nothing else. I said, Zach, no, he gonna have that shirt pressed, child. So after he escorted himself on out and Zach proceeds to take a seat on the couch. Um, sir, honey, she wanted you out as well. Honey, I don't think he got that. Back at the restaurant, Andy and Elder Barge are talking about him losing his client because of her firm's offer. She's like, oh, I'm going now. He's like, well, what about a nightcap in my hotel room? She's like, no. And you want to know why? And then she flashes that little ring. He said, oh, it's small, but it's nice. Oh, child. But until you say I do, it's not official. She said, Robin. He said, yes, Andrea. Child, not her full government name. Let me tell y'all something. I am shocked to find out that her real name is Andrea. Child, I'm so used to Andy, I almost thought he was calling us somebody else, trying to be funny. I was like, now who is Andrea? No, don't get cussed out. <laughs> Little did I know that that's Andy's real name, child. She's like, uh, no, thanks, but no thanks. She's like, I'm gonna finish this wine and I'm gonna drink fast. Well, honey, you better, cause Gary is on his way. Honey, they on a full on date and y'all cannot convince me otherwise. Over back at Fatima's place, she comes out dressed like an Oscar in her all gold dress. And he's sitting on the couch like he ain't got no particular place to go. I'm like, boy. So she's like, um, didn't I tell you to leave? He's like, where you going? She's like, I'm going out just like you. Next thing you know, he looked at her and he said, Fatima. She said, you know what I want. And honey, it was on and popping. I said, not y'all about to have the sexuals all up and through on the couch, honey. And all he got to say is, but let me tell you something. I wouldn't be able to resist either. So, touche, moving forward. 
back at the restaurant Andrea and Chico still on their date and that's what it is because like I said I said what I said and I ain't changing it so the girl's trying to figure out why she over there here goes Sabrina I would be too he's cute well Sabrina we know you definitely have a type honey light skin with a square head as they're getting into it he walks up Gary walks up to them, honey, to blow up their spot. And child, we're going to have to wait till next episode to see what Gary is going to say. And knowing Tyler Perry, it's absolutely nothing. Child, please do not hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Tell me what you thought about this episode. And as always, stay safe, stay blessed, spread love, not germs. Peace.